been a, a real preparation of that there is something new God's got for us, a new phase, a new release, a new expectation of mm. something that God is doing in the ministry. If you had said it's because Brother Jerry is going to go, yeah. then we'd say, no way. No not way. Not possible. Yeah. Right. That's not yes. it. You know? right. <laughs> yes. But as it transpires, a lot of what has been spoken in the church has prepared us for a moment like this. He said, I'm passing the baton to you as my seed to carry on and accomplish and complete all that I was supposed to do in Africa. But yes. now we're running at speed. And, and he, it's our chance to and run. And he gave us such a good head start that we can run now. And we can yeah. Welcome to Winning Conversations. We are so glad you're here. We have some very special guests with us. We have Pastor John and Sharon Ben Dixon from Heritage of Faith South Africa. How so are good to have y'all. Nice to be with you. Very well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's good to be here with you. We love the opportunity to sit down with you guys anytime y'all are in town. Yes. Um, yes. So we jumped on the opportunity to oh, do yeah. so again today. <laughs> yeah. um, as, as we know, Dr. Seville has transitioned to heaven. Yes. And one of the ways we wanted to, as a podcast team, honor his memory, honor the legacy he has. Yeah. He's built here and also around the world with where you guys are, mm -hmm. is to do a whole legacy series. So that's what we'll be doing. We really want to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Seville and um, see what we're doing to continue that heritage of faith. So, Amen. Around, yes. the around the world. Around the world. Yes. The world. Yeah. Yes. yes. And, well, Brother Jerry, I mean, he was a... Uh, um, he was a man called to the world, mm -hmm. and uh, it's certainly our our honor to have known him from South Africa, and our privilege to have worked with him and partnered with him in Africa. Yeah. And uh, uh, what an what an awesome what an awesome uh, ministry he had mm -hmm. to touch yeah. the world. Yeah, yes. And it wouldn't be surprise me after his home going that. Many people around the world would probably have been messaging and watching and uh, and you know just remembering the wonderful uh, voice and message that Brother Jerry. It had doesn't to the stop world. there; it keeps Does, going. It just keeps going on yeah. Yeah, for through sure. us and through yeah. the messages and everything. That's Amen. Right. Yeah. Amen. We had a great time talking to John, Pastor John earlier in our season. Mm -hmm. um, so welcome back. So welcome Thank back. You. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and you did talk about your lovely wife yeah. quite a bit on your podcast, and oh, now yeah. we get to see her too in the flesh. Uh, what a uh, blessing to have yeah. you both. Wonderful. How, tell us again how long you guys have been. We'll link the previous episode. You really did a great job, you know, connecting that. But remind us again how long you've been partnered with. with you know, Dr. When, when, when I start talk dates, I feel. I don't want to use those dates because, <laughs> because, because it dates you. It dates me. You know? <laughs> but but uh, you know, Brother Jerry's ministry first touched us in the early '80s um, in South Africa, yes. and uh, but more directly, we were connected to him in, 19, in February of 1996, mm -hmm. when uh, I had the privilege, Sharon and I, to look after him for a week mm -hmm. um, at the Rama conference in South Africa. And really, God knit our hearts at that event, mm -hmm. February of '96, right. yes. and here we are sitting in in, in early May mm -hmm. of 2024. So that's 28 it's a years. Long time. You know, <laughs> it's a long it's time. A long it's long relationship. Years. It's a long relationship, and uh, it's been a wonderful, blessed journey. Yeah, that's great, Sharon. How have those 28 years been for you? Well, I think I'd also like to go back a little bit earlier. I remember the very first time Brother Jerry came to our church where we were planted. And, you know, my my sons who are now 44. Grown men. Grown men, <laughs> you know. Uh, they were babies. In fact, my second born wasn't even born yet. My yeah. first born was uh, two months old. And uh, our pastor had Brother Jerry come. And I still have my original notes when he came to minister on, if Satan can't steal your joy, he can't keep your goods. And I remember being riveted and I remember with my notebook and I've got all my notes and I took down all the points and that really did change my life. So for me, when um, God was years later, 1996, beginning to uh, divinely connect us, 
I was in awe, mm-hmm. you know, to say the least. And uh, so for me, it's it's been a journey with Brother Jerry of being in awe of how God can do something like yeah. this. Because only God can, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. And uh, so m- m- our connection with him, especially in our local church life, has been uh, very precious in terms of his every year he has this word. Yeah. And our church take it so to heart for the whole year long. It's alive in our hearts. And God gives um, us the strategy of how our church must work that out during mm-hmm. the year. Right. And a lot of the messages even that Pastor John will bring as the shepherd of the church and that our occasion will bring to the church will be around that and related to that. So our, I've experienced growth in in a, the people in our church, yeah. discipleship development mm-hmm. through Brother Jerry's, our direct connection to Brother Jerry and all our people uh, in our church love him. Mm-hmm. They love him. And uh, so they were all with us here. Yeah. At this memorial, yeah. so they right. were all with us, and so I'm sure that's true for many other churches, but that's very personal, yeah, to us, yeah, yeah, it's impactful, it's impactful, yeah, yeah. How, um, thinking back on your relationship and the mm. time you've spent with them, mm. what are some of the biggest revelations that you've received, either from a leadership perspective or pastoring a church? Um, we all really benefited greatly from the words of the 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 word of the lord like you talked about yeah. every year yeah. um, we did the same thing at, mm-hmm. here in in crowley you know mm-hmm. we would take that word and really apply it really seek god on what it meant for us yeah, yeah. Um, but within the proximity of your relationship what were some of the things that were just really instilled from a, a leadership or a um, big church kind of perspective well, well I, I, yeah. Can okay I you go, go first? you go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i, I would say uh, the, for me, having grown up in a in a denominational setting, where often ministers' lifestyles and their and their pulpit ministry were completely different, mm-hmm. you know, it oh, was wow. unfortunate yeah. that a lot of denominational churches have that. Yeah, you have a message that you preach, and you're the pastor, but the way you lived during the week wasn't always what you preached. But the wow. thing, so the thing that really drew me to Brother Jerry was. Uh, he was authentic in the pulpit, mm-hmm. and he was authentic in his personal life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I know, uh, perhaps uh, there are, and there are messages that he preached throughout of his life that made a big sure. impact on us. Satan can't steal your joy. Uh, having done all to stand, stand sowing in famine. There were many of those favor, things. All the favor, all the favor all messages. Favor. Yeah, um, but it was his authentic lifestyle actually that really. Uh, continue to to uh, bless our lives, and we connected more. And in recent in recent times, before his home going, he was preaching quite a lot on um, the way that you live is sometimes the only Jesus that people will see. Yeah, is the way that you live. Yeah, you know, it's not just always the words that you speak, right. but the way that you live. Right. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know that was his his creed in life integrity of his life yeah mm-hmm. the integrity of his words and the integrity of of his actions yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, and I'd say that um, and some people would call that holiness yeah oneness with the with the word oneness with thoughts oneness with the way God leads you mm-hmm. that's holiness yeah. yeah and so I know in our modern day world people don't say he's a holy man you, they use different words. Right. Yeah. Integrous, faithful, loyal. He was all of those things. Yeah. Sure. But if you take that down to the word of God, he was a holy man. Yeah. yeah. He lived his life in holiness. And that's not to say that people aren't without fault because no. we are human. Correct. We are without fault, but sure. that's where humility comes in because yeah. people right. like Dr. Savell, people like Pastor Justin, they are very humble and yeah. can admit wrongdoings and growth. We are all still growing. Sure. And that's sure. that's a big thing that I've noticed in it's that authentic authenticity yes. that draws yeah. you to somebody and that's that's the Jesus in them. Right. Yeah. Is 
You know what I mean? I do. Yeah, right. exactly. I don't know what they confess to because I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> That's great. I have to just use that moment. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Yeah. Well, the word of God says, "Be you perfect as I'm perfect." So yeah, right. It's a good confession to make. Yeah. I'm perfect as yeah. you are perfect. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good decree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. How about for you, Sharon? I was going to go the exact same direction as you went oh. in, wow. and I was going to say, <laughs> I can't. I'm sure I wrote down many notes, but I can't really um, say exactly what he taught me on leadership, but it was watching his life. Mm-hmm. I think the th- big thing for me was, um, especially being in full-time ministry, was watching his commitment, his focus. He would travel anywhere. He would go where mm-hmm. God told him to go. And, and that was a wonderment to me at first, that all this traveling you do, all these churches you go yeah. to, right. you know. And I, I remember we asked him one time, he says, I have the grace. I have the grace to do it. It's what I'm called to do, so I have the grace. Mm-hmm. And that encouraged me to to tap that same grace for our position in full-time ministry because there are many times that I could have been very discouraged. In, t- in yeah. fact, there was a time in our lives in 2004 when I was so discouraged, it was that first time, because I've grown up in a home too with my parents being pastors, right. mm-hmm. you know. Uh, uh, um, but it was the first time in my life that I said to John, I really, I really don't want to be in ministry anymore. Mm-hmm. Is it possible for you to go back to the corporate world? <laughs> <laughs> but if not, um, if you're going to continue in ministry, I'm just going to be your loving wife. Mm-hmm. Because I could never not be that, right. sure. you know. Because yeah. I, I, I love him, mm-hmm. and um, so he. he it, it was a real moment. He looked at me and he said to me, "I got to get you away from here. I got to. I got to get you out of this that yeah. we're in at the moment." Mm-hmm. And he he got me out, and he brought me to Brother Jerry. Nice. And we had a meeting in in his offices upstairs where that table is. Right. And um, there were tissues there, and they were just, well, Kleenex, that's what you call them, right? <laughs> uh, and um, I, I, I just, I told him, I told Brother Jerry what I said to John, I, I really, I'm not doing this anymore. Mm-hmm. I really didn't think that um, Christians could behave like this yeah. and be actually cruel. Yeah. Uh, I think some people in the world are kinder mm-hmm. than these Christians and um, he listened and he probably watched me blow my nose a few (laughs) times with a Kleenex you know Mm -hmm. and he just said to me you can't give up Mm -hmm. you just can't give up and I think he said a couple of other things to me too John and I can't say that it was a, 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 a that it was a major sudden quick turn turn around for me but when i got home in about two or three weeks time i I felt okay i'm back i'm back so i have strength again i have strength again um um, and i've never been at that place before i I mean again Mm -hmm. after that it it just set me straight yeah and he he was there and the thing that was wonderful to me also about that afterwards because it was stuff that impacted our sons, impacted our whole family, and he would call. Mm-hmm. He would call and say, John, how are you? How's Sharon? How's Bryn? How's Garth? Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, uh, that was amazing. Every now and again he'd call just yeah. to find out and speak words of encouragement. And for I mean, all, of these, that? You know, all yeah. of these global ministries. Of all of these ministries. churches. And yeah. how, I thought about it out. afterwards. That's yeah. right. Yeah. How many yeah. pastors have been... That he knows. Yeah. Yeah. He must have done that with hundreds. Yeah. You know? And and yet we felt at that time like we were the only people in the world that he cared for, that he would take that time to do that with us as a family. And sometimes that's what you need. It's just a little encouragement. That's exactly what we needed. Just to know that Brother Jerry's there. Yeah. He's there. He's there. Yeah. You know? You always had him in your corner. Yes. Exactly. 
I think there is a delusion outside of the church world, people who are in ministry all the time, that church people are just the very best people to oh, ever yeah. pastor and work with and, <laughs> and have. And you yes. guys know that that's not necessarily no. the case. No, we, that, we found that out. Yes. yes. <laughs> we found that out. Yes. Sometimes yeah. the hard way. Yeah. 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 But you just need a little encouragement. And don't give up. I mean, it's such a simple thing. Yeah. And we... Yeah. I mean, it's just something that's so simple. Just keep like go next day. Just keep going right. the next day, the that's next true. day, one and then day. yeah, just one more day, and yes. don't give up. I mean, it's it's really yeah quite simple. It is really simple. When mm -hmm. you think about your congregations in South Africa, how are you guys helping them past? How are you pastoring them through this transition time? Well, uh, there's two parts to the answer of that question. The one part is. Uh, I, you know, Brother Hagen, Brother Jerry, and many of the generals that we've had the privilege of connecting with mm -hmm. have taught us that you need to pastor your church with a supernatural, with the supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And if we don't trust the supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit and use them mm -hmm. and allow him to flow through us, then we'll get caught out, mm -hmm. you know. So... Uh, Brother Jerry's death certainly surprised all of us. Sure, you know, us too. Yeah, it surprised yeah. us. Having said that, um, <coughs> God began to work, <coughs> excuse me, God began to work mightily in our church at, towards the end of November last year, and we started to minister on crossover, that there's a major crossover coming in our ministry, wow. and that God is building bridges to a future that we need to start to prepare for. Mm -hmm. And there were various ways that it, it kind of materialized in our church. But from November until we left to come here, we have been preaching on crossover. Wow. And, uh, and it, it, there's been a, a real preparation of that there is something new God's got for us, a new phase, a new release, a new expectation of mm -hmm. something that God is doing in the ministry. If you had said it's because Brother Jerry is going to go, yeah. then we'd say, no way. No not way. Not possible. Yeah. Right. That's yes. not it. You know? right. <laughs> yes. But as it transpires, a lot of what has been spoken in the church has prepared us for a moment right. like this. Well, it was a yes. surprise to us, but it's not a surprise exactly. to God. Exactly. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so in some ways, we've been preparing that there's something new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're ready for that. Yes. On the other hand, uh, we've also needed to uh, allow ourselves the opportunity as a church and yeah. and as a people to say, this has been the most blessed journey that we could have ever, ever hoped for beyond our wildest dreams, imaginations, thoughts, and plans that we would have had for ourselves. Yes. That God yeah. connected us to such a wonderful man, mm -hmm. such a wonderful ministry, such yeah. a wonderful gifting. Mm -hmm. And of course... You know, we will do all that we can as a ministry to stay connected to um, JSMI and Heritage of Faith. Yeah, it's not something that's going to stop for us. Yeah, we're we're forever connected to right. the ministry, right. the message. You know, but uh, but there's a new season for all of us now. Yeah, and yes. and we have to embrace that too. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, I think that's Exciting. that's important to remember. Not only. The connection we had but there's there's been every time i've thought about it and even felt sad about yes. his passing mm -hmm. gratitude seems to rise up on the yeah. inside yeah. Yeah. i'm just so thankful that yeah. that yeah god put me in this house that he put he planted us here with this yes. image of faith because right. we could have been planted anywhere that's right. really that's anywhere in the body of the christ yeah. we would have been happy to be with yeah. but he yeah. saw fit to put us here and he saw fit to put y'all right in, yeah in south mm -hmm. africa with Brother Jerry right. doing the work of the ministry yes. and think about the the number of lives that y'all have been able to impact yeah. because yeah. Brother Jerry was obedient to connect right. with y'all. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's inspiring to just, I mean, our lives affect yeah. so many different people, people we will never talk to, people we will never see face to face, but mm. our impact will it goes out, you know, yeah, it's like yeah, a domino yeah. effect. Right. And so right. it's like you were saying, like, we have to be careful in how we are behaving, how we are acting, how we are, you know what I mean? Because it, yeah. we have to be the Jesus because it affects more than just the yeah. people in our circle. Right. It yeah. goes far That's beyond right. that. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. 
Yes. When you think about where you're going in this new season, right. what are you seeing for the future of Heritage of Faith South Africa churches? Growth. Yeah. <laughs> Increase. Growth. Advancing. Increase. Yeah. Progress. Yeah. Promotion. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I, highest is highest expectations fulfilled. Right, I, God's. Highest. I have to say that uh, Brother Jerry lived to his last moments. He lived sowing seed, mm -hmm. and of course we know the Word of God. You know that is uh, unless a seed falls into the ground, it cannot produce after its own kind. It has to fall and it has to die so that more can come, mm -hmm. and uh, and. We have to have a view that says, Brother Jerry lived his life to the point where he sowed it into the ground completely. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for for a harvest to come from his life seed that he sowed. Yeah, you and he kept on sowing and kept on sowing. Yes. And, um, and so uh, the future is a harvest. Mm -hmm. What exactly that harvest looks like I think is going to be something that you have to uh, be protective of, watchful of. And certainly for us, uh, uh, because of the legacy that we come from, and that is we've talked about in a previous podcast, right. mm -hmm. you know, Sharon's father was connected to a, a denomination that was a John G. Lake denomination. Yeah. Uh, my father, with Smith Wigglesworth and John G. Lake grew up with that. And of course his connection to any seed that he sowed to Oral Roberts. Uh, um, it's an amazing, it's an amazing uh, journey that we've all been through. Mm -hmm. And now the journey takes on a, a, a whole new, a whole new phase, a whole new dimension. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's a it's a it's a moment. It's a moment when a general passes. Yeah. And it's a moment when suddenly there is a space where we all have to say there's scope now for us to take that baton. Mm -hmm. and for us to run with that baton. Mm -hmm. um, there was a season where Brother Jerry and he spoke openly about it. This is not yeah, something that uh, that I'm in many churches. I'm divulging as a private thing, but 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 there was a time in in uh, in his life where he was thinking around 2012. He was thinking he's going to slow down. Yeah, he's not yes. going to believe yes. God for yes. the next jet. You know, right. all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. And uh, he was in South Africa at that time, and and he, there was uh, quite a seriousness on him at that time. And uh, he, he was talking like I may not be back, and yeah. he was standing. He was standing in our in our church, and uh, he he looked over at me, and he said it in a public forum. We still have the the, the, the video footage. material yeah. of that, you know. Um, he looked over at me and he said, "John, there are things I haven't yet been able to accomplish in Africa," and he said, "I'm passing the baton to you yeah. as my seed." to carry on and accomplish and complete all that I was supposed to do in Africa. Well, I'm delighted to say that God spoke to him and said, did I tell you to did quit? I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you to right. stop believing for the next right. aeroplane? Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. And yeah. he said, no, Lord. And he said, well, did keep I? going, you know. Yeah. And, right. and so... He was with us another 12 years after yeah. that yeah. moment. Coming yeah. to <laughs> South Africa, coming, coming to our church. <laughs> but the moment, yeah. the moment wasn't lost on us. Yeah. The moment wasn't lost sure. on us that, that uh, there is a future where he, he is handing the baton. So even though that moment took a little bit longer, mm -hmm. if you don't mind me saying this, when you're running a track event and you're doing a relay race, um, there's a transition of where the baton is handed over to someone right. else's hand. Mm -hmm. And I, I was a track athlete in my schooling years. And it, we used to practice for hours that transition mm -hmm. where the guy that's running the race behind you is running and you, you, you've got so many meters that you can get up to speed. And the ideal position was that you were at speed when he finally Bastard. put the baton mm -hmm. in right. your hand right. and then you were running as fast so as you could run 
for the next session yeah. that you were the next leg that you were to run. Very you know, good. Yeah. and there was that transition so moment, and so I don't look back at 2012 and think, oh, that was the time. What I look back and say that was the beginning of the transition. Yeah, mm. yeah. And we wouldn't have known that this was the t- ending time. Sure. But yes. now we're running at speed. Yes. yes. And That's so good. our future is well, now we've got right. to run. Yeah. It's our race to run. That's we're right. on. We're on the last leg of that of mm-hmm. that uh, yes. uh, athletic race, and, and it's he, our chance to and run. And he gave us such a good head start that we can run now, and we can yes. go further. Yes. yes. We can go. And he would want us to do he that. Yes. Heaven, yeah. he's part of the the, um, the great cloud of witnesses saying, go try. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. I did it. I see. Now you must run, John. Run, yes. Sharon. Run, Heritage right. of Faith South Africa. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That gets you fired up. It, it does. really does. <laughs> yes, it really gets you fired up. Yeah, that's good. I was telling someone like I I feel that like you feel you feel inspired, you feel fired up, and you're Let's ready go. to go. Let's yeah. not yeah. don't let it fizzle out. Just no. keep it going, keep no. it going, keep it going. No. Exactly. There's momentum right now, so yes. keep there it is. going. Yes. 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 Ooh. Yeah. Super good. <laughs> fired up. Good. Yeah. 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 It's reminiscent of when you shared in April when you when you all were here in church right. and you yeah. were talking about. I listened to it just this morning again. You know, like we are the revival generation, and this yes. is the generation that's going to move, move that baton forward mm-hmm. and take it, take it to the end of the race. So we're super, yes. super with y'all on that, yes. on this side of the world. Right. Yes. We decided oh. to do the same here, and that's and that's so. kind of. Uh, I was sharing with someone this morning here on a on a on a video conference call. I was sharing that um, uh, I I see a picture of of people sort of coming from all corners into the center, coming from all corners into the center and and bringing everything they've got and being in the center, you are much stronger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being all together, you are much more capable. Right. And, uh, and I believe that Brother Jerry's home going, rather than being something negative or mm-hmm. sad, it's going to escalate us. It's going to pick us up yes. and it's going mm-hmm. to say, now you're all strong together. Mm-hmm. Let's and we are. We're coming together because mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. We're becoming stronger. So right. Heritage of Faith Crowley, Heritage of Faith SA, other churches that have connected to Brother Jerry, mm-hmm. other ministries that have. Yes. Connected, we're all going to come together, mm-hmm. and we're going to yeah. complete each other and be stronger together. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Amen. I love that. Amen. I love Go that. So, making winners in life. That it's is the message do. of the house. Yeah. It's what we do. Yeah. It's, what Dr. Yeah. Did. it's what we ask every podcast. This is no different. We're going to ask it. You've given it, but I know you're going to have something amazing right. to say. Yeah. What does making winners in life mean to y'all individually? Well, the very first scripture that comes to mind on that, if, 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 if it's how I making winners out of life, uh, the very first scripture is Joshua 1. Meditate on the word of God day and night. Don't let it depart from your mouth, from your lips. And then you will make your way prosperous mm-hmm. and success. you will have good okay. success. Yeah. So to me, that's, that scripture sums it all up. I cannot be a winner in life without my constant meditation on the word of mm-hmm. God not letting it depart out of my mouth, which was what he taught us. And and in that way, making myself a winner yeah. and, and teaching others to make themselves winners in life. There is no winning without the word yeah. in my yeah. heart and on my lips, in my heart and on my lips. That's the word of faith that's been preached to us. Mm-hmm. Romans chapter 10. That's it. That's winners in life to me. That's encapsulates good. it. It does. That's amazing. It encapsulates it for me. Thank yeah. you. Simple, clear. Yes, pure. very That's clear. It. Yeah. Yes. Very That's clear. what I love about the Word of God. Yeah. 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 And for me, I would say that Brother Jerry's, uh, one of other Brother Jerry's scriptures was in, from Ephesians because he had a, an amazing message about the armor of God. You know, yes. And of course, that message was about having done all to stand. Right. Stand. Mm-hmm. And I think if I was to hear his voice having making winners in life, if you keep standing and you're the last person standing, you win. <laughs> you know, you yes. win. And, yeah. uh, and so his whole attitude of don't quit, keep standing, 
keep running your race, yes. you know, then you will win and we will have the crown. So for me, it's we've got to keep moving forward and, uh, and don't quit. Don't and then quit. We win. Yeah. yeah. I love that I question. Know. It's a good question. Yeah. It's a, it's a really yeah. good question. Yeah. Yeah. And it's always different. It's always yeah. different. That was so good. Thank you, you guys thank so much. you got to take a breath thank after that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for taking the time yes, to be with us. Yes, thank you. It's such an yeah. honor to have you guys. Thank it's you for having wonderful us. We consider you part guys of this. titans in the faith, just thank like you. Dr. Seville. Yes. So thank as you guys go home in the next few days or whenever the Lord takes you back yeah. to South yeah. Africa. Yeah. Yes. Our fan, where our hearts are knit together. Yes. With you guys. Thank you. So exactly. Thank so you for that. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. We will have you back. You we will be, be back. You will we, be back. We'll be back. <laughs> you will be back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> we'll have a seat at this table anytime. You're anytime. Yes. Yes. Anytime. Oh, well, wonderful. thank y'all so much. And thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope that blessed y'all as much as it blessed us. Um, and tune in next week for more winning conversations. <laughs>